Warzone Gamer, Warzone Gamer TV on YouTube. If you hear anything in the background, it's basically Hotel Transylvania, my son, my dear son right here. Hey baby, say hi to the world. Anyway, anyway, back to business. If you hear the movie in the background, you know it's my son. I'm trying to turn it down enough so you won't hear it, but he will. Uh, day 13 of the PlayStation 4. Well, 13 days left. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's 13 days left. 13 days left. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but it's going to be a big deal. I haven't shaved. I, I said that was going to be a deal. Not to shave, cut my hair until the launch. It's going to be big. Anyway, a couple of news articles coming out. Nothing too big. Nothing too... I mean, it's been real slow. It's a weekend. What you expect? But um, Sony... Sony basically talking about that the online would be better on the PS3 as the PS4 rolls out. Something about, of course, that's what they've been working on. I guess all them maintenance that we've been getting over the year, well, over the months with the PlayStation 3, whenever they were doing maintenance, it was to fix the online services. I guess that's a good thing. And the guy's name is uh, Jim Ryan. Uh, I don't know which guy it is. There's so many people that work at Sony. It's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, he's saying it's supposed to be better, whatever. It's supposed to, I guess, they upgraded all the systems. We won't know until we actually get the systems in our hand. It should be good, though. Uh, on to other news. It's not really PlayStation, uh, it's not really PlayStation news, but it's next gen news. Uh, right now they have the, uh, Xbox Day One Edition, uh, Xbox Live cards rolling through there. Uh, some YouTube, uh, some guy on Twitter actually posted up a picture saying that they're selling the Xbox Live right now. It's like 60 bucks. It comes with the 12 months of Xbox Live and uh, the Killer Instinct Round One Digital. Is it the same right? Round One Digital. Uh, yeah, it's basically Xbox Live and a whole new package and nothing special. Uh, I guess Microsoft wants to start rolling out some stuff to build up some momentum for uh, their console because within the last couple of weeks, Sony's been just letting people buy controllers, games, and accessories, and it's been very convenient for a lot of people just to get, I guess, the taste of what Next Gen is, is about. Uh, you know, a lot of people got to feel that controller, but we all know it's not going to feel like anything until we get that PlayStation 4. You know what I mean? It's a match made in heaven. Uh, I will be making a video later. This is actually day 12, but being that I only had time right now to make the video for day 13, I figured there'll be some news later on, so I have some something to report on that. Something to report on that. Uh, basically, yeah, that's what I got for you guys right now. Uh, Tuesday, uh, well, you figure today's Monday. Um, a lot of people will be uh, standing outside for Call of Duty. I know it's going to be huge. If there's anything going down in the city, because I'm from New York, of course. If there's anything going down in the city as far as launch events, come on, guy. As far as launch events, I would try to make it there. If not, uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll try to pull some some strings, see what's going on in the city. Uh, I was told that my, that uh, Activision is trying to do something big to compete with whatever GTA had. So... Who knows? I know with uh, Modern Warfare 2, they had something real huge on 14th Street, Union Square, where they had, like, a big tent. And it was basically with a whole bunch of kiosks where you could just play Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360. And it was cool. I had some interviews. As a matter of fact, on, on my YouTube channel, I have the interview I have on Jessica Jobot. Chobot. Chobot, whatever. I don't know how to say name. But uh, I had an interview with her, and I think uh, Major Nelson, I'm not sure. That might have been the Connect launch, but yeah, man. Check it out. Like I said, whatever I get my hands on, if I could get any footage on the Call of Duty launch, I would definitely be posting it up. Uh, we actually got the uh, Warzone Gamer Instagram thing going right now, so follow me as Warzone Gamer. I'm trying to have that be a whole... I'm trying to start a whole new movement. I'm not really trying to put it out there because it's a lot of biters. It's a lot of dudes taking my swag and biting it. But uh, follow me on Instagram, Warzone Gamer. Follow me on Twitter, Warzone Gamer. 
And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will check you guys out. Peace.